Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the question how to remove the show more options menu. I mean, we do not want to remove these options, but we want to show them actually directly when we right click, uh, actually activate the context menu in the file explorer of Windows 11. Up to Windows 10, it was always showing the full menu, but in Windows 11, Microsoft decided that we cannot see all the options in the first attempt. This is also something uh, which is very, very strange, but this is nothing new for Microsoft. They always try to be like Apple and make the decisions for us, but most of the people do not like when they make the decision for us. We want to make our own decision. So how to remove this thing and uh, go to all the options without uh, pressing Shift F10. What we can also do is to use the Shift and the right click, and then we have all the options and we can keep this show more options. So we have this condensed menu and with the shift we have both options. But here I'm going to show you the option how to remove this question and also to remove the need to press the shift and get directly to the full menu. So I think the easiest version or the easiest option is to use this uh, Windows Terminal or uh, Windows PowerShell. It's actually very easy to use. I'm going to show you that. Uh, the big advantage here is that we can uh, reverse it very easily also with this command. I'll write both of the commands into the description of the video, the disable and the enable. So you will have that uh, forever and doesn't matter if this website goes down or what's going to happen. So to disable, I mean not disable the change, but disable the question. If you want to see more option, that's this one. It's a little bit confusing. So we actually need this one here we press Ctrl C, then we hit the Windows key and R at the same time. We type WT, which is the Windows terminal. We hit the return or the OK, and then we are here, and then we press Ctrl V or basically paste it and we hit the return. The only thing where you have to be careful is that it doesn't have any blanks at the end. So when you uh, copy paste it, it will probably look like that. And then you have a space at the very end. So you have to go back here and then uh, hit enter and then it will say the operation is completed successfully. Otherwise it will throw an error. It's a little bit crazy just because of this blank here at the end. And what we have to do now to make this change active is to reboot the computer. Of course there are some other options but it's more for advanced users. I think you could also log out of the profile, log in again or whatsoever. But here you can see I do nothing. I don't hit any key. I'm not hitting the shift or so. I just right click here on this screenshot and you can see we have the full menu again. This is what we wanted to see and uh, yeah, it definitely works for me and I hope it will work for you too. So if you have any questions or comments or better solutions, then just let us know down in the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.